Tanqua Artscape 2023. I love your name, even though I realized you write it quite different from Halloween, but this is how you pronounce, right? Halloween. Halloween. Tell us who you are, what you do when you are not here in the Tanqua. Oh. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so f firstly, Halloween means royal woman ascending from the valley. Wow. Yeah, it's a combination of my both my grandmother's name, Helen, and my mother, Dean. So Helen and Dean, Halloween. So it's quite an, an odor to the woman in my family. So I carry their name with me, yes. Yeah, I am a creator, I'm a writer, a theater maker, and a visual artist. That's a lot. It's, and that is just summarizing it. <laughs> um, Where I, are you from? I'm from George, in the Southern Cape. Uh, we call the area the Garden Route, Eden District. Yes. Uh, um, the Garden of Eden. So I'm from a beautiful coastal small town with beaches and mountains and forests. What brought you here to this Artist in Residency program? And why did you apply? I studied development and environment. Didn't actually study the arts. So I've always been a bit of a tree hugger. <laughs> Love the natural environment. And when I saw this residency, nature, art, and I've been working in the arts for the last four years, I thought, wow, two of my loves together. Um, what an interesting place to come explore and play. And yeah, most of my work in the last few years have been in the Western and Northern Cape. And the Tankwa Karua is kind of here on the border in between. So that was also very cool for me, yeah. um, location-wise. Yes, and then I had uh, an initial... Then I say a want or yearning to connect with this area and the land in terms of um, my ancestry to explore that as well. So I, I guess there was a, what brought me, there was a pull towards this place, towards the Tankwa Karua for me. And now I'm here. Ten days now. Ten days. What happened? A lot. <laughs> More details. Too much. <laughs> More um, details. Yeah, I think the Karua will surprise you in unexpected ways. Came here with a expectation of what I want to do and what I want to create and what I want to get out of nature and almost demanding in a sense. I realize maybe a bit of, not arrogance, but coming here and going on the first walk the first day was a complete disconnect, felt, received nothing, didn't feel all inspiring um, and it was frustrating. And yeah, I just that first few days was a bit tricky. So um, what changed then? I let go of my expectations. I just became still and listened. Still and observed. Still and felt. Still and rested. And waited for Mother Nature to approach me or to come to me and yeah, and then I did find a lot in every day a little bit more in unexpected places um, 
let me open my my writing yes please what started out as a joke i think halfway through the first week of every day going on a date with nature <laughs> walking out sitting in places um you know getting to know a romance started <laughs> developing and i found myself in this back of a scrapyard under a tree with my eyes closed and i stopped searching for inspiration it was almost like i started to experience mother nature in different things uh, i write about like i could now hear a call from the leeuwsberg and the leopardskop when i just became still and listen and when i became still and looked I could admire over the horizon in all sorts of clouds in awe actually and when I became still and felt I yeah I found a uh, hidden like in the ground I think most importantly when I became still and rested and just laid in the sand she approached me while I was alone solo planted uh bare feet in my motherland and also just the real talk in the earth cracks i could also recognize myself you no know? there's a it's such a place of contradictions imperfection is beauty There's a different type of beauty, yeah, you know. Yeah, and I would, then I was unexpectedly invited to the heart of Mother Nature, closer. And I became more open as well. Um, I became more aware, I became more present, more lighter. And yeah, I could enjoy all the gifts that she brings you know all around us small big and also when i open my heart i could also enjoy the many m- mysteries the mystique you know it's also a lot of beauty in the mysteries Mm-hmm. Uh yeah and for How? me it just coming like I guess to towards the end of full circle um I feel like being in communion with the land Um, there's a part in my poem where I say, or in my love letter to Mother Nature, <laughs> where I say, um, it came to me and we broke bread and sat together and I experienced uh, ov- like uh, overwhelmingly almighty big, which is very humble, humbling. And yeah, in the middle of the Karua. You turned all this experience into a poem? This is yes. what I understand? Um, I like to call it a love letter to Or Mother love letter, Nature. Yeah. A poetic written piece. In Afrikaans, my mother tongue. It's called Langpad Ompad Heistu. Which means... Long way home or long way roundabout home or long way wrong way home uh, or, in, or just shortly homecoming. So yeah, I feel very at, at home here. Yeah. I decided to, to write the letter 
in a space close at the Tangua airport <laughs> which today I thought was quite I had a funny thought that in movies you there, there's often the scene where a lover would come running to the airport or exclaiming their proclaiming their love or escaping <laughs> or escaping <laughs> So yeah, and that the space that I'm using, it's uh, part of a landing strip, different metal sheets that's rusted. And I wrote the letter on it with white pastels. And it felt today when I wrote it like I'm writing on scrolls. I felt very privileged <laughs> being in the middle of the Karua writing my poetry in such a grand way. Yes, it was quite cool to see when I was done. And as much as it's a, a letter that I literally wrote in letter format to my my love, my homegirl, Mother Nature, and I can also say to my God, as well, because the two g as go very s synonymous for me, uh, God and Mother Nature and myself. And it ends off X, 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 Halloween, <laughs> X, O, X, O. <laughs> very nice. Mm. So this was more of your individual journey, right? But we are here also as a collective. Mm. How did this collective play into all of this in your love romance was it disturbing supporting interesting enough most of my writing is very personal most of my work comes from a very personal place and of sometimes autobiographical even though inspired by my life and I find there's a lot of authenticity in it. Even sometimes when I plan to do it on a subject or then it somehow turns, comes back inward. Um, but as a collective, uh, as much as the natural environment is inspiring and I'm always in awe, even as a playwright in theater, um, or in my creative writings, just, or short films, or photography, or I'm always interested in the, the elements, the moon, the stars, water, the soil, find a lot of inspiration in that. The human contribution here has also been very inspiring from the current collective and the previous collective's works that we've seen um, on our art walks. And yes, I mean, Daphne created a writing space in the back of a scrapyard and was generous to share that, that space with us, uh, open up her uh, uh, home. Emma assisted helped in me finding my spot and the medium I used and just just conversating and hearing people hearing people's experiences and there's a lot of people that have an a, an a, a spiritual experience which is which has been amazing to witness experience alongside them so definitely uh, I think there's a quote that says um, self-actualization really happens in isolation um, and even when I had a bit of writer's block for a few days last week the collective added a lot of value I, as much as I'm, I like to be alone and often like to create alone I wouldn't have wanted to, to do the Tankwa experience alone and it's such a diverse group of absolutely yes. beautiful people, also beautiful energy, like a lot of love, a lot of light, and 
and I'm very grateful for a group to cultivate that type of atmosphere because that significantly also in in impact your art especially if you're spending so much time together right. and people are so open to collaboration as well whether it's formally or informally yeah it's been it's been quite exciting the last thing coming to everyone if you would have to give five words for to the environment how would you describe it what would be these five words Hmm, I need a moment because I have Please so many one. words. Mysterious. Sacred. Serene. I want to say layered. Or layered. Multi layered, multifaceted. Yeah. Um, My last word, I want to say beauty, but beauty is putting it mildly. Trying to find a word for uh, a different type of beauty. Infinity? Hmm, definitely infinite. Infinite in many ways. Hmm. This is it. Thanks a lot. Thank you.